Here's how I make adobe bricks. The materials are all free. All you need is mud. I dig this in the desert about 10 miles from home. I kind of like the color. I mix the clay with water first to get rid of all the lumps. found a use for all those styrofoam peanuts, or as we like to call them, angel turds. I also use grass clippings, chopped up tumbleweed, and mesquite pods, anything to add bulk. This is a pretty inexact process. I use one part clay to two parts sand and uh, whatever bulk I throw in there for organic matter or styrofoam or whatever. This is just dirt from my front yard. I use a cleaner grade of sand when I'm mixing mortar to lay the bricks in. The consistency has to be stiff enough to hold its shape when you put it in the mold, but loose enough so that it sticks together. I'm making bricks with holes, kind of like cinder blocks. I use cat food cans to make the holes, put them in the mold, and then shovel in the mud. The mold is made out of a plastic gas can, cut into a three inch section, and then stabilized with some wood. I tried a plain wood mold, but the plastic doesn't stick to the mud quite as badly. Um, here go the cat food cans, and then the mud. Tamp the sticks on the styrofoam down into the brick and then travel off the top. The fat comes up to the top just like working with concrete. Pull off the mold, trim the edges, and voila! I can make about a dozen bricks from one wheelbarrow load full of mud. I figure I need over 2,000 to make a wall all along the front of our lot. It's been so dry the deer have nothing to eat across the river, so they've come to town looking for food. They've chomped the tops off our garlic and our irises, chewed up some agave, and basically eaten anything that's green in the yard. Here's the wall so far. The back isn't plastered with a finish coat yet, so you can still see some of the individual bricks. There's still a long way to go, and when the wall's done, I still need to make a gate across the driveway to keep the deer out at night. That's all for now. So from Annie and David in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, it's Adios Adobe.